Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super fun tutorial. It's a super casual sweater, but with a twist. But it is adorable, it's understated, it's super casual, it's super warm and chunky and I wore it over um, my t-shirt with my jeans and my boots and in the spring I will just take it with me when it gets a little chilly and wear it with my sneakers love it and super easy to create we, i created it in the round for most of it and then back and forth back and forth just switching to regular uh, needle if you want i love circular needles so i always work with them but this sweater is uh, worked in the round for the most part of it and then for the sleeves as well here is the sweater super cute super super soft super easy to create do not get intimidated by the cable stitch i will take you through it slowly but surely one stitch at a time i will post the information about the yarn in the info box down below i will post substitution yarns for it as well i will also what can i do for you next <laughs> oh yeah i will have other sizes this is a medium I am, uh, I used to be a small, now I am a medium, I am visiting my fridge too much and yeah, and I'm not stopping because that is what comforting me. So bite me. Other sizes will be on my blog, my knitting blog. Here is the address if you want to, uh, if you would rather have uh, something in your hand like a written pattern. I personally like visual um, tutorial. I'm a visual learner, so that's why I like YouTube so much. But I like to give you the options and of course other sizes because we all come in all sizes and shapes. And each and every size is beautiful from extra small to triple XXL and more. And keep this in mind. Don't want to hear any nasty comments about you only do things for small sizes. I do not. I post on my blog all the sizes possible that I can. Oh, what else did I want to tell you? Yeah, I hope you're doing well during those tough times. We're not going to uh, talk about the C word today. We hear it enough everywhere. Today we are going to knit and I cannot wait to knit with you. If you are not subscribed to my channel, don't hesitate to do so. Click on the subscribe button. So without further ado, if you are interested in knowing how to create this beautiful braided knitted sweater then keep on watching and in the meantime happy knitting mm, stay crafty stay healthy see you next time bye all right so for this tutorial you will need 10 skins of the alpaca twist from yarn b and the color i used is blush 06 i actually used two strings of yarn at a time for this project that's why i needed 10 of the skeins a knitting stitch for cable special i'll put all the information in the info box and below i needed a stitch marker scissors tapestry needle you will also need since we are knitting in the round a circular needle the wire the string the whatever you call it is 36 inches long you will need a 9 millimeter and a 10 millimeter knitting needle circular both and then for the sleeves you will need the same 10 millimeter and 9 millimeter knitting needle circular too but this time 12 inches or 16 inches um, wire in between your needles let's begin with your 9 millimeter knitting needle all right so now you're going to cast on 90 stitches in total and we're going to begin with the bottom of your sweater the border which will be you will see one by one a rip stitch I'll show you how to do that so I will meet you once you have 90 cast on stitches place the st stitch marker make sure that your stitch do not twist before you begin or else you're going to have a mobius sweater you're going to knit one in the first stitch and then in the next stitch you're going to do a purl knit Pearl. So remember, I'm taking two strands of yarn at a time because I want this sweater to be fluffy and chunky. 
So knit purl, knit purl, which is the one by one rib stitch. And you will do that for five rows in total. So the first uh, round is always just trickier uh, because when you cast on you have the tendency to do it a little tight uh, so make sure you scooch your stitches as you need the second one will be already way easier the second round Okay, once you have your five rounds, we're going to switch to a 10 millimeter knitting needle. So you're gonna just take your needle and you are going to just begin to knit with the new needle as your working needle. And you're going to begin to knit and you're going to knit 16. And we are going to preparing our uh, work for cables. There's going to be one cable in the middle of your sweater, in the middle front of your sweater. And we're going to create the little spot for it right now, preparing it. So we knit 16. Once you have 16 knit stitches, you are going to purl two. Here you go, you have 16 knits, purl two. Now you're going to make eight knit stitches. Scoochie, scoochie. And once you have eight knits, now you're going to purl two again. One, two. And then for the rest of your round, you're going to knit until you reach your stitch marker. And that's going to be in between those purl twos where you're going to have your cable. But no worries, we will get to that in a minute or two. So for now, you're going to knit all around. And since we're knitting in around, even though we want to create the stockinette stitch, it's really cool because as long as we knit in the round, we only need rows of knits with, of course, the cable pattern, but knit rows in between your cable pattern, which is cool. All right, finish your round six, knit until you meet your stitch marker. So for round seven to round nine, to the end of round nine, we are going to repeat round six. And I will meet you at the end of your round nine. You are also done with the small knitting needles. Right now you have your 10 millimeter knitting needle, and that is what you're going to use for the rest of your sweater. Here we go. Remember to put the stitch marker at the beginning of your round. And I will meet you at the end of your round nine. So pretty here, you can definitely see what your border looks like with the rib one knit one pearl stitch, super pretty. And now we're going to make those rows uh, seven, eight and nine. And I will meet you then. All right, now you are at round 10. And round 10 will be the round where we are going to twist our stitches to create our cable. So you're going to begin the same way you had began so far. So 16 knit stitches. This yarn is so pretty and taking it to ply means with two skins of yarn makes it so fluffy and those big needles. I love it. 
is going to be so pretty. All right, so you have your 16 uh, knit stitches. Now you're going to make your two purl stitches. And now is the time where you're going to take your little cable tool, your cable twister, your little needle that looks like that. I had a small one. I had ordered on Amazon thicker one and they arrived during this tutorial. So a thicker one would be better. Doesn't matter though. You grab the next four stitches and you let them hang just like that. And that's why there is that little curve going down. Make sure though that they don't fall from your little cable needle. Then you're going to knit four regularly, the next four stitches. It's super easy guys. Seriously, it looks complicated, but it's not. Next, thanks to this nifty little tool. And then you're going to knit as they present themselves to you. Don't twist them. Just knit the four stitches you had left, beginning with the first one and a second and a third and a fourth and that's it you twisted your cable that is it my friends that's what is going to create that twisted cable braided effect that you want that's all you're going to repeat that every few rounds, I'll show you. But right now, for now, purl two now. And then you're going to knit all around, finishing your tenth round until the end of your round when you meet your stitch marker. Cool, right? Told you it's not that hard. All right, so for this 11th round, we're going to, it's going to be a round of increase because I want this sweater to be a little wider uh, from the middle of it to the top than at the bottom. So we are going to turn the first knit stitch into two knit stitches. Let me show you how. So you're going to take your needle and you're going to go into the front leg of your stitch regularly. So begin by making a regular knit stitch, yarn over your needle and back, but do not finish your stitch totally. Leave that kind of half done stitch on your main needle. Then go to the back leg of your stitch, yarn over, and now you can finish your knit stitch. And just like that, you turned one knit stitch into two, you increased. All right, so now you're going to knit eight. And in the ninth stitch, you're going to turn those sti two stitches into one the same way I had shown you. All right, now you're going to knit until you reach the purl two, your cable, the purl two that are just before your cable, you're going to purl two. And then the cable, you are going to just knit the knit stitches as they present themselves. You have eight knit stitches, just knit them as they present themselves to you. Eight knit stitches. There you go. Look how pretty. So this is your cable. I love the way it looks. It's so pretty. Love cables. So satisfying. Then you're going to purl two. And now you're going to continue your round by increasing in the first stitch. And then that means turning the first stitch into two knit stitches. And then you're going to knit eight, increase, knit eight, increase all around this 11th round until you meet your stitch marker. What does it mean? Since you increased by two stitches before your cable, instead of beginning now with 16 stitches 16 knit stitches before your cable 
for around 12 you will have 18 stitches before your purl twos to begin your cable if that makes any sense okay so now from round 12 to round the end of round 16 you're going to repeat in pattern so you're going to have uh, 18 knits two purls eight knits two purls and then knit all around until the end of round 17. So now you are at round 17, we are going to uh, do a cable round. So you're going to knit 18, purl 2, take your little cable needle and you're going to take again four stitches and put them on your little needle extra cable needle let them hang aside just the way you put them on your needle knit four and you basically are going to repeat what we created on what was it round 10 so when you have knitted your four stitches take the stitches as they present themselves to you just the way you put them on the little extra cable needle one two three and four and now you're going to purl two and you're going to continue to knit all around. You see how beautiful the braid, the cable is forming? It's so pretty. So pretty. It looks so complicated, but it's really not to create this beautiful effect. All right, so you have purl two. Now you're going to knit all around until the end of your round. So now until the end of round 23, you're going to continue in pattern, knitting 18, purling 2, knitting 8, purling 2, and then knitting all around. And I will meet you at the end of your round 23. So round 24 was a round of increasing. So I increased turning the first stitches into two, and then I knitted nine and I turned again the next stitch into two and then I knitted until I reached my purl two I twisted my cables purl two and after the purl two I just increased knit nine increase knit nine until I reach my stitch marker and then you're going to continue so you do the cable no more increasing from now on so you're going to have 20 knits at the beginning of every round before you begin your cable pattern so 20 knits, purl 2, knit 8, purl 2, and then knit all around. And then you do 6 rounds like that. And at the 7 rounds, you twist your cable. 6 rounds, 7 rounds, you twist your cable. And you will go on and on and on until you reach the end of round 51. At this time of the tutorial, I finally get my thicker little cable needle. So I'm using that and it is <laughs> way easier actually because the stitcher was sliding because the other one was too small. Anyway, really enjoying my thicker one. So we are at the end of uh, round 51. We have six little twisted braids. Round 52 will be a round of braid. And from this round on, we're no longer going to be knitting in the round. We're going to begin to knit in rows, therefore creating the armholes, the opening for the sleeves. All right, so we are at round 52. And as usual, you're going to knit 20 and you're going to make your cable. Thank you. 
Okay, so now uh, we are going to knit 20. Remember you had 20 stitches, 20 knit stitches before your cable and you're going to have 20 knit stitches after your cable for the front part of your work. We are no longer going to knit in the round from now on. We're going to have rows of knits and rows of pearls to create the stockinette stitch we had going on until now. It's not complicated though. The only thing you're going to have to do is turn your work around and I'll show you what to do for that uh, 53rd around, a row this time, 53rd row. All right, so you knit 20, then you're going to turn around. And what you're going to do is put a stitch marker so you are sure you're not going to continue when you're not supposed to. And you're going to purl 20. So we are working on this part of your sweater now and that's why we have to go back and then you're going to knit two instead of purling two because you are on the other side of your work the wrong side of your work and now you're going to purl eight instead of knitting eight this is the cable. And then you're going to knit two again. And you're going to purl 20 until the end of your row 53. Row 54 will be a row of 20 knit stitches, 2 pearls, and then 8 knit, 2 pearls, and then 20 knits. And then row 55 will be again a pearl row with the 2 knits, pearl 8, 2 knits. And you are going to continue like that until the end of uh, row 58. And I will show you what you need to do when the cable row falls on a purl side. And there's no difference, it's exactly the same. So you're going to purl 20 and then you're going to knit 2. Then you're going to take your extra little needle, your cable needle, put 4 stitches on that extra cable needle, let them hang on your needle. And then you're going to purl four. Oop, make sure they're right in the middle, not to lose a stitch. And once you're done purling four, you're going to purl the four stitches that you had let hang on your extra needle. And that's it. So it's not really different. It's no need to be intimidated. That's all. And that was your 59th row. And you're going to continue like that in pattern. So back and forth, you're going to have one row of pearl, one row of knit, one row of pearl. You're going to make your cable every seventh row. And I will meet you once you have nine braids in total, counting from the bottom. So here you go, you see how your work looks like. You're creating the opening that will be for your sleeves. And you are at a row 71. You are just going to cast off. So you are going to knit two stitches and then pass one stitch over the next. Knit another stitch, pass the first one you knitted over the second. And that's how you cast off. And you're going to cast off all your stitches. And when you meet your cable, you're going to purl the stitch instead of knitting. 
and then you're going to pass the first knit stitch over the purl stitch then you're going to purl so what i'm saying is that you respect the stitches as they present themselves to you if it's a purl you purl if it's a knit you knit and you cast off and you're going to continue like that all along until you're done casting off all the stitches and just like that you're done with the front part of your back and that was the most complicated part of your back because it had the cable on it, the braid. We are going to create the back now once we're done casting off and that is super, super easy, guys. All right, it's time to take your scissor and fasten off and let's tackle on the back of your work. So for the back, super easy. Remember we had left at a row round 51. We had turned those round stitches into rows. So we're going to just uh, go back to those stitches we had left for uh, row 51. And for row 52, we're going to just join. It, there is no braids there. So it's just knitting one row and purling one row knitting one row and purling one row back and forth back and forth from row 52 to row 71 and when you are at row 71 you are actually going to cast off and that is it that is it for the back so now you have your beautiful front with your braid and then you have your back and we are going to assemble a little we are going to sew in the shoulders together now you're going to take your work place it wrong side facing you and you're going to either with your tapestry needle or with your crochet hook you're going to sew the shoulders so you're going to match them stitch to stitch i did it with a tapestry needle for a change this time and you're going to up match the shoulder stitch to stitch and now you're going to stitch to stitch with your tapestry needle sew in your shoulders and i took the whole stitch the whole v stitch for this this time so stitch to stitch find a v stitch pass your tapestry needle to one and then through the other simple sewing stitch and you're going to do that until you have sewn 14 stitches together from both sides and that is going to be your shoulder and at the same time the opening for your arms so you're going to assemble 14 stitches on one side and 14 stitches on the other side and now you will have two shoulders and at the same time the opening for the collar of course all right now you're going to sew in all the loose tails at the back of your work once you are done with both of the shoulders you are going to put your work back right side facing you All right, so now that you have your uh, work right side facing you and you created the shoulders and the opening for your sleeves, you're going to take your 10 millimeter needle, circular needle, but the smaller one, it's 16 inches, the wire that attached them together as opposed to uh, 36 inches that we had before. And you're going to go to the bottom of your opening for your sleeves and you're going to put your needle through it wrap your yarn around and you're going to pick up knit stitches going up the side of your sleeve so using your left hand to hold uh, your work and your right hand to knit you're just going to pick up knit stitches one knit stitch at a time and you're going to have 24 stitches going up your sleeve and then 24 stitches going down your sleeves and the sleeves are going to be knitted in the round and once you have your 48 stitches you're going to place a stitch marker at the beginning of your round and you're going to uh, make about i would say 40 rounds of stockinette stitch which in our case since we are knitting in the round is just rounds and rounds of a knit here i am still picking up my stitches So right now we are picking up stitches, we are at around one of our sleeve. Alright, so you have picked up your 48 stitches, now you place your stitch marker and what is left to do now is rounds and rounds of a knit 
all around and I will meet you once you have 40 rounds of uh, uh, knit and of course that's for my size sleeve uh, try your sweater on you might need shorter sleeve or longer sleeve and that's super easy to achieve you just continue by uh, knitting more or less rounds all right so once you have your 40 rounds or whatever rounds you need you're going to switch to way smaller uh, needle still small circular needle 16 inches i took six millimeter knitting needles because i want my uh, the border at the end of my sleeve to be really tiny way smaller than my sleeve of course i want that kind of a little bit of a poofy effect so with your smaller needle knit one at the beginning of the next round and then you are going to purl two together that means that you're going to take two neck stitch and do a purl stitch with the two stitches together then knit one purl two together again so you take two stitches together and you pull through it that is all and knit one and you're going to do that all around that 41st round knit one purl two together knit one purl two together I will meet you at the end of this round all right say bye bye to your big needle and we are left with the small one and for this round uh, 42 you're going to just continue doing a round of knit one purl one knit one purl one all around don't forget to put your stitch marker so you know where your when your round begins and ends Okay, you are at around 43. We're going to decrease again for this round. So do one knit, one purl, one knit, and one purl. So four stitches. And then you're going to decrease, but you're going to decrease, turn four neck stitches into two. So the next two stitches, which is a purl and, an, and a knit, you're going to knit both of them together but then you see that your next stitch is a uh, knit and you need a purl so knit, take the knit and the purl stitch together and purl them together okay that's okay you decrease two stitches and again knit purl knit purl and then you're going to take the two next stitches together and knit them together it's a knit and a purl that's okay and the two knit the two stitches the two neck stitches again it's knit and a purl again this time you're going to purl it and you're going to continue that all around knit purl knit purl and then you're going to decrease twice that is the end of your 43rd uh, round and you're going to continue until you have the desired length of the border for your sleeve that you want i think i had about seven rounds in total so here i am at the end let's see if i begin at round 41 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 and i am at the end of my 47th round and for round 48 i am going to cast off and casting off the same way we did before but respecting each and every stitch as they come so if it's a knit stitch i knit if it's a purl stitch i purl and then i pass the first stitch i did over the second one and i do that all around and you are done with your sleeve so cute and you see how the sleeve was kind of wide and then it gets smaller at the end that's the look i wanted for my sleeve you're going to repeat that exactly for the other sleeve and just like that you will be done with this beautiful braid sweater cable sweater so we learned how to create this sweater we learned how to make cable stitch and you saw that it's really really not hard at all and yes so i like to color just like that um i you could make a border if you wanted the same way we casted on and picked up stitches 
around our sleeve you could pick up stitches around your collar and create a border for your collar i just like it like that i like that unfinished look for my sweater that's what i wanted voila i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as i have enjoyed creating it for you i am looking forward to many more knitting tutorial in the meantime happy knitting and i will see you next time don't forget i will have other sizes and a written pattern on my blog see you soon happy crochet stay crafty and stay healthy okay well that was fun <laughs> camera stop filming in the middle of me talking let's do this again